Hello, hello, and welcome to the BMW Block channel. Today we have a special surprise for you. Uh, the time of filming, uh, this car is still under an embargo and it's now actually September 2021 and we won't be able to share this until January of 2022. So this is uh, quite a long time to wait for us to share uh, the information on this car with you, but nonetheless, here it is. So this is the BMW iX M60 is the M-tuned version of the BMW iX. We just had a chance to drive the iX xDrive 50 yesterday. So that review is on our channel as well. But this is the top of the line BMW iX and will go on sale also next year. So let's start with some of the specs. Compared to the xDrive X50, the M60 model gets 619 horsepower. Uh, compared to the 523 on the xDrive X50, the torque, it's up to 1100 newton meters of torque. That's massive. That is a huge amount of torque and you can only imagine how fast this electric crossover actually is. The BMW iX xDrive 50 gets about 765 newton meters of torque, so by any means it's not, it's not slow. And um, if you look at the 0 to uh, 62 miles per hour, 0 to 100 times, uh, the M60 will get you 3.9 seconds and the xDrive 50 4.6 seconds. The top uh, speed is 250 kilometers compared to 200 kilometers on the xDrive 50. Since it's an electric car and range does matter, the BMW iX M60 will do about 575 kilometers on the WLTP range compared to 630 on the xDrive 50. Of course, the range difference is because of the additional power, so it will consume a lot more energy. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the design. As you can see here, the M60 comes with a different body kit. It is a lot more aggressive than the regular model. It also gets a lot of blacked out elements. You can see right here, the air intakes there. You can also see a different shape of the front spoiler. And of course, it still gets the intelligent panel, which uh, actually uh, hosts a bunch of sensors behind it. That's another cool feature on the iX. It's available on all the models. So if you want to uh, fill up the um, windshield fluid, that's the way to do it. There is no front on the BMW iX, so you're not able to actually open the front hood. You can also see here the BMW laser lights. Now if you move to the side, you can see the uh, 3D aero wheels, two-tone color, a black and silver. You can see the shape of the wheel, quite interesting. It also gets an M badge on the side panel, blacked out of course. You do still get the bronze elements, so you can see them right here on the doors. Of course, also on the flushed handles. And if you move back, you can see there as well. Let's take a look at the side view. Size-wise, it's somewhere in between an X5 and an X7, probably closer to the X5. But the interior space, it's actually significantly larger than on the X5. So the moment you actually step inside, you will notice that immediately. We go to the back and take a look at the uh, rear end. Again, the blacked out theme continues. So you are getting some uh, additional black surroundings around the lights. Also the M60 badge, it's a combination of bronze and black 
it looks luxurious and quite cool actually and of course the diffuser also painted in black here is a full view of the car now if we take a look inside Similar interior as the X-Drive 50, so not many changes here. Still getting the uh, interesting shaped steering wheel, which is actually quite cool to drive. Had a chance to drive the X-Drive 50 yesterday and it was spectacular. A quick change from the other models. You're gonna get the uh, black crystals on the doors compared to the um, clear uh, crystals on the X-Drive X50. Same thing in the center console, you can see right here the shifter, it's also a black crystal and a little bit different iDrive controller as well. Two large LCD panels kind of stitched together to make the largest LCD screen in a BMW ever used. And let's not forget the uh, premium and comfortable seats, perforated leather, double stitching, and the bronze insert into the headrest, which also has a few speakers implemented in there. The Bowers and Wilkins system, it's actually the most powerful audio system used in a BMW car as well. Let's take a look at the rear. You can see a lot of space in here. That's mostly because of the packaging being built on a electric focus architecture. It gives the designers and engineers the freedom to um, package the car a little bit better than a um, modular platform like on the i4. So you can see there is quite a lot of space sitting for three. You can also fit two car seats in here as you'd expect. Plenty of USB-C ports in the car. I counted about six of them so far. So I'm not sure there are a lot more than that. Of course, wireless charging, it's also included. You can also fold the seats if you need additional cargo space. And speaking of that, let's take a look at the cargo space. Uh, it has about 500 liters of cargo space compared to 600 on the um, BMW X5, so you are losing a little bit of cargo space. There is an additional storage compartment right here. The rondelle, it's also uh, an intelligent one. It actually sticks out and it's able to spray the windshield fluid to uh, clear uh, or clean the camera right there there is no pricing on the car but if the x drive x50 starts at 85,000 um, the m60 it's likely to get close to the 100,000 range maybe uh, upper 90s we don't know for sure yet but we should be able to find out when the car launches all right, so once again, this is the BMW iX M60. As always, I'd like to thank you for your support. So please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and please also let me know what do you think about the new BMW iX lineup. Aside from the Kinney grill, what do you think about the car? For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.